Hey y'all, it's Lindsay and we're back. For the past month plus, we have been traveling all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but a lot of different places. And it was um, a really exciting experience for my family and I. If you're brand new here, hello, I'm Lindsay. I am a stay-at-home mama to three little girls. I have a husband who travels for work. And we got the really incredible opportunity this past, or for this summer to travel alongside my husband, go see some of these really neat places, and just get to spend some good quality family time together. So that's a little bit of context for this little update video, I suppose. So we wound up leaving home and going down to Florida to meet up with my husband, and then we got to fly in a helicopter up to New York. Now we made a few stops along the way and we dropped our girls off with their grandparents so they could spend some quality grandparent time and my husband and I could spend some time, just the two of us, which is something we've never really done since having children. Like there's been like, a, twice I think actually, twice where we have left our girls overnight and both times were before Lauren even existed, our third. So it was one of those things where it was long overdue for my husband and I to get to spend some good quality time together. And it was a major blessing for us. We had such a good time. There was a lot of work involved. It wasn't all fun and games, but we enjoyed the time so, so much. So over the past month, we went to Florida. We stopped off in South Carolina. We spent some time in Pennsylvania and we spent a lot of time in the Northeast, especially in New York. We got to visit New York. Um, we did a lot of flying around Manhattan and we did a lot of flying in upstate New York, which was really cool. We got to see the Finger Lakes, which was really pretty. We got to go to the Hamptons out on Long Island and we did a lot of bouncing back and forth between Manhattan and Long Island and you know, all the way out to Montauk, which is the easternmost point on Long Island, which was really kind of neat. Um, we just, it was just a really good time. A really good time for me and my family. We got to go and see Martha's Vineyard. We got to fly in there and explore around all the little like micro towns that are on Martha's Vineyard and that was really neat. It's a really cool place. We went to a museum there that kind of explained the whole history of it, which was cool and it was just it was just really great. We really had a good time. We got to visit Nantucket, which such a cute, cute island. Everybody has like the cedar sided houses. Everybody's houses are gray and white. It gives you a very, very New England vibe. It's so cute, so cute. If we could have spent more time on Nantucket, I would have been all in for that. But time was kind of like one of those things where you didn't really know where you were gonna be, when you were gonna be there, and for how long, and so it was constantly a state of moving around, which was really fun for just me and my husband when it was just the two of us. But once we added the three girls back into the mix, it got a little stressful. Like it's a lot to manage to pack up five humans and move around from place to place and not have um, your accommodations settled beforehand. And we're a pretty flexible family in general, so it wasn't such a, big deal, but at the same time, it was a lot of stress, especially on Lauren. Lauren being not even two yet, it was a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of uncertainty for her, and she needs a little bit more stability in her day-to-day -day life in order to feel secure, which I totally understand that. The girls, they all do so much better whenever they know what to anticipate, and we can be in one place for more than a day. But at the same time, the big girls, they, they've moved around a lot. <laughs> we've moved quite a few times with the two of them and we've never moved since we had Lauren. So she's not as familiar with the whole like go, 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 travel all the time the way that the big girls were. So it got a little stressful at times, but for the most part, we did really awesome. We really loved having all of that quality time with Jared, it was just, such a blessing, especially because over the past, like from January until April, 
We only got to spend, I think, 30% of our days with him. Maybe not, maybe it was a little less. Either way, it was a very small amount of time that he actually got to like stay in our own house. All the other time he was traveling a lot. And so really just like getting to go along with him and do the things that he does on a daily basis when he is on the road was just kind of a cool eye-opening experience. And I know as a stay-at-home mom who homeschools with a toddler all the way up to an eight and a half year old, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to maintain a home and constantly do the day in, day out, feeding of children, cleaning of children, cleaning of the home, getting all of the lessons done. Just there's a lot that goes on, a lot of moving parts whenever you're operating a home but there's also a lot of moving parts for his job and I gained such a tremendous amount of perspective for what he does on a daily basis. Like we talk about it all the time, but until I actually lived it, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, I know these things happen, but I don't really have a good frame of reference for them, a lot of context for them. So um, just as a side note, he is a pilot for a company, and so he's a corporate pilot, and they travel a lot. They travel um, to a lot of various places, and this summertime they were spending a lot of time traveling the Northeast to do things. I don't know. I try not to get too involved in the nitty gritty of the business of it because like I said, I got a lot to manage here at the house <laughs> with the children and he has a lot to manage with his job. So we both, we both, we, we do our work and we both feel like we have very difficult jobs, but we also know that they have major rewards such as getting to travel with my husband this summer. And that's the first time this has ever happened. We have never had the freedom to travel alongside him in the past. So this was kind of a one-off sort of a situation and we're so grateful that we seized the opportunity and that the company allowed us to do those things. So it was just really, really cool. Um, we're just trying to get back in the swing of things, trying to get everything prepared for starting our homeschool year for 2019, 2020. Caitlin, our oldest, will be doing all fourth grade level work. Molly, our second, will do all first grade level work, even though their ages are not fourth and first grade level ages. Um, and then Lauren, she'll be turning two in a couple of months and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I feel like last year was a pretty difficult homeschool year with Lauren specifically because, you know, she was older than a year but still very, very needy and now she has become, you know, she's like full blown toddler and definitely adventurous and she gets into everything. So I'm curious to see how this homeschool year will play out. It should be interesting for sure. So anyway, that's all that I wanted to share with you today. Just kind of, here's my face. I know I haven't been on YouTube for, a, for over a month. Um, we had really spotty internet connection for quite a long chunk of the month and the times when we did have internet, it was times whenever we just really wanted to spend time enjoying the moment. So that's mainly why you hadn't seen my face. <laughs> so anyway, I really appreciate you coming along and checking up on me for this update from summertime hiatus. And if you haven't already, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe, if you like what you see, and I will see you in the next video.